there's a lot to consider when deciding where to go on safari in Africa. Whether it be the beautiful endless plains of Tanzania's Serengeti, or the hidden waterways of Botswana's Okavango, there are plenty of safaris for you to visit. So let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit on safari. Number one, Namibia. While the density of its wildlife is much lower than other parts of Africa, Namibia makes up for it with its breathtaking desert landscapes. In the north of the country lies Etosha National Park which is its most popular safari destination. The best time to visit are the dry months, when the animals gather at water and there are plenty, such as elephants, giraffes, lions, and it's possible to see black rhinos too. The Atosha Pan, which is the focal point of the park, is a salt flat, where mammals and birds such as flamingos all gather. So if you do want to get there, you can drive up from the capital Windhoek and the other options reveal some of Namibia's huge open landscapes. And the best base camp is right on the edge of Itosha National Park, the Ongava Tented Camp, which is in a private reserve. Number 2. The Okavanga Delta, Botswana Now this inland delta is one of the most beautiful and wildlife rich areas in Africa. Located in northern Botswana, it's fed by floodwaters from neighbouring Angola between May and October. So this is a time when you can explore the reed-lined waterways by Mokoro, which is like a traditional canoe, which is particularly a special experience for you to go on but there are a number of reserves in the delta. So think about buffalo hunting lions, or wild dogs sprinting through the bush, or hippos cooling off in the water. It's something you don't want to miss. But it's also a great birding destination if you're into that. So the best base camp is the Vambara Plains, which is in one of the fanciest camps in the delta. And it's in a really good spot for seeing, particularly, the big cats. Number 3. Masai Mara, Kenya The Masai Mara in southwest Kenya is famous for its beauty of its role in savanna grasslands, its density of its wildlife, and between July and October, the great wildebeest herds that thunder across the Mara River. So the key to enjoying your time in the Mara is avoiding the crowds, which means finding a great guide or paying a little extra to stay in one of the private community-run conservancies, which are around the edges of the national park. And the conservancies are those organizations that protect wildlife, natural landscapes, and let's say plants. So the best base camp would be the high-end 1920s camp, which is in a private conservancy, great for uncrowded wildlife sightings, and it's in one of the most long established camps in the Mara. So it's worth paying a bit extra for the best safari you'll ever go to. Number four, Nguruguru Crater, Tanzania. Tanzania, is an East African country known for its vast wilderness areas. But this inactive ancient caldera is 2,000 feet deep and 100 square miles in area. 
one of the world's most dramatic landscapes for viewing wildlife. And there are plenty of elephants, endangered black rhinos, lions, and flocks of flamingos. But it's not just safaris that you can do in and around the crater, but also hikes and visits to nearby Maasai villages. It does get crowded in the peak season, but during the wetter weather, during the low season means smaller crowds and better rates. Now the best base camp is Neptune Engorogoro Luxury Lodge, which is a very smart but comfortable hotel with at least 20 cottages, pool and a spa and everything superbly organised. Number 5. Queen Elizabeth National Park, Uganda In the southwest of Uganda, the national park is made up of savannas, forests and lakes, and it holds a diverse range of wildlife, from elephants to chimpanzees. So it's perhaps best known for its lions, that have an unusual thing for climbing trees. But it's also a great place for boat trips. But given its proximity to the forests, it's an excellent safari partner to mountain gorilla trekking. So the best base camp with beautiful views and only a few minutes from the park is Buffalo Safari Lodge and a great option for the Queen Elizabeth visitors. Number 6 Oenge National Park, Zimbabwe. Now this national park is one of Zimbabwe's best and most popular safari destinations. And with a diverse range of wildlife across its savannah and forests, you might spot lions, wild dogs, leopards and cheetahs. Oenge is also home to one of Africa's largest population of elephants. So the park benefits from Zimbabwe's famously excellent guide, so if you are a beginner this is a really good thing. But this trip is easily combined with Victoria Falls, which is only around 3 hours away by road. And if you want to look at a best base camp, I'd highly recommend Davison's Camp, which is set near a waterhole that's often visited by elephants. Number 7. Ruger National Park, South Africa In the far northeast of South Africa, Ruger National Park is the most popular safari destination of them all. In addition to the wildlife viewing being absolutely superb, especially for leopards, as they tend to really walk around nonchalantly around the vehicles. It's got great tourism infrastructure, including good roads for self-driving safaris. So this is where you can save a lot of money. There are basic self-catering facilities or the super luxury lodges. It's entirely up to you. The highlights here are the great big walking trails and those gigantic trees. Number 8. Serengeti, Northern Tanzania The vast plains of the Serengeti Which is in plenty of nature documentaries just for good reason, but it's home to incredible wildlife. You can watch cheetahs scan for prey from atop a termite mound or you can just park up next to a leopard that's literally chowing down in a tree. 
the great migration wildebeest herds stop to graze or even give birth to the young in the south end of the park. So from June you can also see them crossing the river as they move from the Serengeti and Kenya's Masai Mara. Best base camp is in the south of the park, Serengeti Pioneer Camp, which has the best views across the plains. Number 9. Madikwe Game Reserve, South Africa Close to the border with Botswana, Madikwe is a scenic reserve, with rolling hills and a very rust orange colour sand. Home to the Big Five, so this is a great option for families, as it's malaria free and many of the properties are geared towards hosting children, with all kinds of activities and private villas. So the best base camp is Madikwe Safari Lodge. It is a luxury option, 20 rooms, plenty of family suites, so that is absolutely right. Number 10. South Luangwa, Zambia. Now this wildlife viewing is among the best in Africa particularly for big cats and elephants. You can spot rare subspecies that's unique to the area. You have giraffes. The park and Zambia generally is renowned for walking safaris. So if you're keen to explore the bush on foot, whether it's just for the day or an epic flying camping adventure, then this particular location is just for you. The river attracts large numbers of animals during the dry season and it's actually the most popular time to visit. Be aware that many of the lodges close for the wettest months, which is between December and March. Now a solid base camp choice is a popular little spot called Flat Dogs Camp. That's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one.